third movement of Tchaikovsky's children's album is the very beautiful piece Mama, a picture of absolute tenderness and one of the more difficult ones to play. Not many notes, but the technical aspects can be quite daunting, especially for an inexperienced or young pianist. The problem here is the layering of voices. I think of this piece as a three-layer cake, but sometimes a fourth layer is added. So we have the melody in the right hand. We have another melody in the left hand. again for how it should be done. Did you notice how carefully I held on to the melody note each time? Right? Now what about the thumbs or the second finger notes that are supposed to be quiet? Did you notice that I always played them right from the surface of the key? Right? If you allow them to play from the air, they will absolutely thump. This is one of my rules. Svetlana's rule of thumb. Thumbs will thump. They sit on a very big and heavy piece of meat in our hand. But the good news is that the thumbs are very controllable. You just have to think close to the key and quiet and it will obey. Right? So I suggest a great deal of left hand practicing alone. But also, you must design a fingering that actually allows the left hand to be legato. Uh, with Tchaikovsky, very often, he writes away from the piano. At least that's what I think, because so many of his pieces uh, have a little trouble with how many um, fingers a person actually has. Like if you have six, then a lot of problems are avoided, but alas, right? So the fingering will have to be a little bit more complicated than it first looks. Another interesting problem in mom is deciding which of the two layers, the top or the bottom, is melody. So is the uh, soprano voice the loudest or is the bass voice loudest? Or are they talking to each other? You have many, many options. Here's the first line done in several different ways. First, soprano voice is loudest. Nice, beautiful. Okay, now let's try it with the bass voice loudest. where the slurs are all normalized and 
both the right hand and the left hand have gestures or units that begin on the weak beat and end on the strong beat. Now look at the different addition. With the right hand and the left hand have slurs sort of starting and ending randomly differently. I don't think it's possible to do that effectively. I don't think the listener can understand that. So I would suggest avoiding additions that do that, like the plank. I hope I've answered a lot of your questions. If you have more, please leave them in the comments. Happy practicing. Thank you.